تاكسي اف من اول يوم وهي تعالوا بالقمه Does everyone have a paper and pen? Yeah. Vocabulary words that are unfamiliar to you. Okay? عشان المحاضرة الجاي راح يكون عندنا أولا spelling bee يعني مش راح أعطيكم homework هالمرة بدل homework عندكم spelling bee راح ياخد عشر دقايق من محاضرتنا بدايته أوكي يا زي أملا 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 المهم أنت عليه in the Mahadra Jai, we're going to have a spelling bee in the Hual Ishi Hadak. Imla. In the Hual. Yani Mishrahatikum homework, Kadu Mahadra. The homework that come in Kumta Drusu. Ah, will Kilimat, the Gair Malufin Alekum, Uktabuhum, vocabulary words. Nihayat had the audio story. There are going to be questions. Rahakun fi Asura and Jabu Mabad. Okay? عشان افرجيكم من سبرايز بتفاصيل اكثر بس نخلص من هنا وراح يكون في دسكشن بسيط جدا بس بدي كل واحد يجهز على بناء القصه بقول لكم بس يخلص القصه شو تجهزوا بس الشيء اللي بدكم تجهزوه بدكم تطلعوا تحكوا فيه اوكي؟ ربع ساعه فيديو؟ لا لا وين ربع ساعه؟ هذا دعايات في معه اكتبوا vocabulary words that are unfamiliar to you غير مألوفين عليكم عشان برضو من ضمن الهوم ورك تبعتوا لي اياهم الكلمات اللي كانوا غير مألوفين عليكم مع تعريفهم Wake up, Hannah. Wake up. You're going to be late for school. Oh, just five more minutes, Mom. I'm so tired. Wake up now. Don't make me come in there. It's Friday the 13th. You can't be late today. Okay, okay. I'm up now. Friday the 13th, who cares? I hope I passed that English test. Why am I so nervous? I don't like this subject. And Mrs. Collins is so demanding. She never settles for anything less than perfection from her students. Oh, I just need to pass, please. Oh my God, what's oh. that? <laughs> oh no, my mirror. Where did you come from? Shoot, go away. I can't believe it. My new mirror. Where did that cat come from? I've never seen a black cat around this neighborhood. That's strange. Hmm. Probably just a stray cat. Anna, I'm coming. That cat, it just appeared out of nowhere. And my mirror, why did it have to break today? <coughs> People say Friday the 13th is cursed. Could there be some truth to it? I mean, it's just a day, right? But then again, the cat, the mirror, it's just too weird. And that English test? Oh, I hope it did not affect the test. I wonder how Collins graded it. She's usually strict, but it put in so much effort this time. English is such a tough subject for me. 
What's that sound? Hello? Anybody there? Hmm. Probably I just misheard. Good morning, class. Today is the day we've all been waiting for. I'm giving the distribution of your English test results. I must say, the results this time were quite varied. Some of you showed remarkable progress, while others, well, there's room for improvement. Let's start with the good news. The highest score in the class, with an impressive 98%, belongs to Jake. Excellent work, Jake. Your dedication is evident. I'm so nervous. I really hope I did okay. Me too. I just hope I'm not the worst. And on the other end, we have a few students who need significant improvement. Please don't be me. Please don't be me. Please, please, please. Particularly, Anna. I was surprised by your result. Your score was much lower than expected. I, I don't know what happened. I thought I had prepared well. Anna, this isn't the end of the world. However, you need to reflect on where you went wrong. Come see me after class and we can discuss strategies to help you improve. Yes, Mrs. Collins. Okay, let's get back to today's lesson. I can't believe this. How could this happen to me? Why me? Wait, what's that? It's that sound again. <laughs> oh my God. What's wrong, Hannah? There, there's someone outside of the window. Someone's outside. Yes, yes. Black November, I have bogey closet. Jacob, a couple of the center. I like this. There's nobody out there. That's right. We are on the fourth floor. How could there be anyone outside? But, but I saw him. Calm down, Hannah. It's all right. Maybe you're just too tired and imagine it. Do you need to rest in the school nurse's office? No, Mrs. Collins, I think I'm fine. Are you sure? Yes, Mrs. Collins, thank you. Okay, just tell me if you need anything, okay? Okay, thank you. Everyone, get back to your seats, please. Let's continue our lesson. Are you okay, Hannah? I hope so. Did you really see a man? Yes, I even heard his footsteps. He was right there, smiling at me. That sounds creepy. But I do hope I just imagined that. Yeah, if it was real, it would be terrifying. Mrs. Collins? May I come in? Of course, Hannah. Please sit down. I wanted to discuss your test results with you. I was surprised by my score, Mrs. Collins. I thought I had prepared. Let's review your test, Hannah. I noticed you struggled with the reading comprehension section. You missed out on key details in the passage. Yes. I found the passages quite lengthy and got confused with the options. It's common to feel overwhelmed. Now, let's focus on how you can improve. Here are some strategies specifically for test taking. Always read the questions first before the passages. This gives you a clear idea of what information to look for. Highlight or underline key phrases or words in the question. It helps in quickly identifying answers. 
Manage your time wisely. Don't spend too much time on a single question. If you're stuck, move on and come back to it later. Double check your answers. Sometimes reading a question again can give a new perspective. Stay calm and complete. Even if you find some questions challenging, panicking can affect your overall performance. Hannah, Hannah, wake up, Hannah. Hannah, wake up. Are you okay? Where am I? What's happening? You're in English class, Hannah. You were having some sort of nightmare. I dreamed that I had a bad day. My English test had the lowest score. Then a lot of weird stuff happened and it was so real. Are you kidding? Hannah, you got the highest score. Mrs. Collins even praised you in front of the class. What? No way. I can't believe it. You can check it yourself. Well, class dismissed. I got to go home now. Bye, Hannah. Bye, Diana. Is this for real? I have the highest score? Maybe things are finally looking up for me. And it was all just a dream. Let's go home. Huh? Oh, no, 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 no. This can't be happening. I have to get out of here. A way out. Oh no. <laughs> but who are you? Why do you keep following me? I am your worst nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> Well, well, well. Do you have the same fear? English speaks to you even in your dreams? You're afraid of English class and English conversation? You're no more. Let the fear of learning English stop you from your success. It's Black Friday. Mind Valley membership is 40% off for life. And when you get a mind. So now we have comprehension questions. Which statement best describes Hannah's feelings toward English as a subject? She loves English and finds it easy. She finds English challenging and struggles particularly with reading comprehension. She's indifferent about English and doesn't care about her performance. B, B. B she finds English challenging and struggles particularly with reading comprehension. Very good. Two, what day of the week is it when the story is taking place? Friday the 13th. Very good. What recurring theme appears throughout Hannah's day that suggests it might be an unlucky day? By the way, recurring bilmana something that repeats. Oh, it wow. recurs. It should yeah. be ayed. A, she keeps losing her belongings. B, references to Friday the 13th and events like breaking a mirror and seeing a black cat. Or C, she keeps forgetting her assignments. B. 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 For what advice does Mrs. Collins give to Hannah to improve her test-taking abilities? 
A, to study harder and read the textbook. B, to skip the questions she doesn't know and guess the answers. C, to read the questions first, highlight key phrases, and manage her time wisely. C. Five, what unexpected event happens in the classroom that further unnerves Hannah? What does it mean to be unnerved, by the way? A, a power outage. B, Mrs. Collins suddenly cancels the class. C, she hears footsteps and sees a man smiling at her outside window. Unnerved. Nervous, nervous, to be unnerved. Do you think you're going to be No. Do you think you're going to be You need to be relaxed. But if you feel unnerved, you're going to be unnerved. You're going to be more than nervous. You're going to be more than nervous. You're going to be more than at the end of the video, thank you for watching. Remember to practice English every day to improve your skills. Watch the video at least three times a week and repeat daily. There were specific themes that were in the story. What was the theme that was recurring? We said it, Aslan. We answered it in the question. ايش كان الثيم اللي بيعيش حاله كان؟ oh. nightmare you can say what else yeah. the black cat, yeah. cat. Yeah. breaking yeah. a mirror yeah. Friday the 13th ايش معنى هذول؟ what do these mean؟ bad, 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 yeah. bad luck yeah. ايوه yeah. a black yeah. cat is bad luck uh, breaking a mirror is bad luck yeah. she walked under a ladder at one point مشيت من تحت السلم a ladder this is also considered bad luck no bad luck bad luck فلين عند كل it's bad luck a black cat oh so these would be called superstitions and I'm gonna write down this word really quick بس للمعلومة بسيطة هذا اسمه تطيب ايش اسمه؟ اسمه تطيب. كانوا يتخذوه من اسبانيا قبل. يعني ما عارف انه حرام ما بصير. انه والله يكب القهوة الصبح انه يوم سيء. هذا انت بلشت ذاك تفوت لنا بالدين حرام حلال لا بالعربي اسمه تطيب. تطيب؟ تطيب تطير انا اول مره بسمع فيها وانا كمان يعني كانوا زمان لما يشوفوا الغراب بدهم يطلعوا مشوار ويشوفوا الغراب يرجع يرجع يروح يروح المشوار فسموها عرفت انه في ناس يومكم هذا هيك حد يموت لما يشوفوا يورز لا لا ما احنا من مصر واقع Yes, this is very bad luck. This is not yours. And I'm going to open up a new document, which is fine. So these are called superstitions. And when someone believes in these things, they are superstitious. superstitious. Okay? This is what a superstition is. مثل ما احنا عندنا هون اذا انكبت قهوة فهو رزقة واذا الطير إلى الآخرين. These are all superstitions. يعني none of it is true technically, but some people do believe in it. This is a new word that we learned. So for next lecture, this is your homework. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> spelling bee.
وشو اسمه رح ابعت لكم اني كلام بالضبط رح يكونوا بالسبلنج بي ومن رح يكونوا اشهر وغير انه جهزوا للسبلنج بي او هلا بطول لكم الكلمات من عندي وهلا هلا برضه بطولكم يس يس رح ينبعث على الجروب برضه ايش المطلوب منكم؟ To answer a question تطلعوا هون تجاوبوا Are you superstitious? يعني هو two parts السؤال Are you superstitious? What superstitions are commonly believed in your culture? إيش في superstitions that people here in the Middle East believe we are yeah. us as Arabs we're a very very superstitious people mm -hmm. discussion for the classroom yes it was spelling B it will also be taken in class email شغلة واحدة اللي هو إيش a list of unfamiliar vocabulary words with their definitions هلا مش من عندكم تجيبوا لي ياهم from the video انتوا لا مش شرط أنا أختار لكم إياه اللي كان غريب عليكم من الفيديو أيوة انتوا بتنقوهم And I will be sending you the video. Can you tell me what vocabulary words? What words are going to be in the spelling bee? I'm going to ask you guys. I'm going to ask you guys. Okay. Mm -hmm. So ten words. These are the words for the spelling bee. Okay. The mom. أنا بدي أعطيك لك يوم إنك عشان أنا مش بيدي أدخل هذا. And then you guys are going to come up here and you guys are going to speak. You are going to answer these questions. Are you superstitious? And what superstitions are commonly believed in your culture? Okay? We have so many superstitions in our culture. I'm not sure if you can find it. Maybe this is something that you've seen, something that you've heard. I will come up to the house. 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 I will come up to the evil eye, the evil eye was talked about in the Quran. We have it. But it was never said to wear a little necklace oh. to ward it off. <laughs> One second, let me turn on the light. Yes. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh my gosh. Where are you going? طيب خليني بس معناته تعال اطفي لي الضوء معناته بس افرجيكم المنهاج الجديد على السريع اوكي عشان نطلع البريك أنا بس بدنا نضل بدنا نضوي ونط فيها الضوء 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 نضوي ونط Can everyone see? هلا احنا منهاجنا الجديد الجديد راح يكون interchange, okay? Yes. هذا مدرسة ثانية. هم؟ مدرسة ثانية. هلا هذا ال ال academy كله. So we have our units. Today we will be taking greetings and we are going to be playing a game. What's this? Oh, and we're going to talk about the lesson itself. And then I will have all of you open up your bags. <laughs> okay. Then we will move on to cities and countries, talking about where you are from, uh, colors, clothing, weathers and weather and seasons. What are you doing today? Uh, daily routines, etc. Then we're going to move on to workplace vocabulary, your living situation, talking about where you work, where you live, etc. And these are just the activities. Greetings. This will be pair work now when we come back. Popular names in the US and I would like you guys to tell me popular names in the Middle East as well when we come back. Mm -hmm. Possession, mitil my, your, his, her, when do we use what? Spelling your name. And also, this is something that I've noticed is not common in Jordan. Okay. And Allah has it miss, khalas, diamond, M I S S, khalas, wintahena. هلا in English there's actually something إذا الوحدة متزوجة تستعملوا M R S Mrs. للا مش متزوجة Miss. We can also use Miss. ولا الزلمة Mister. ما في شيء لا الزلمة متزوجة. ليه مو بس الزلمة متزوجة ولا مش زي المرة. We've got greetings, conversation. This is an amazing workbook. You guys are going to love it. It's very, very nice. It's put together. It's going to help you have everything together. We're still going to be taking slides and videos and classroom activities. as well. Okay? So how about we take our break now? So that we can come back fresh and ready to start.
عشان اغلب الاكتيفيتيز وي غانا هاف ذا لايتس اون ما حد هنا